Hey everyone, Ken Sears here, and it's time for another shave video. I'm going to be trying out the Oku shave brush that I received uh, about a week ago. And I actually did an unboxing of this brush and the Heritage Collection shaving brush. Problem was, with that video, I had made an error on it and I needed to do a quick edit. So I <laughs> went to YouTube and tried to use Creator Studio to do that, that edit, and I ended up deleting the video. Well, on my iPhone, it had finally filled up. I think I have 256 gig on the iPhone. It had filled up, so I went through and had deleted all of my recent videos. Bottom line is, my goof, I ended up deleting that unboxing, so uh, you may be seeing this brush for the first time. You may have caught it in the unboxing video that no longer exists, but that's on me. Live and learn. I will not try to edit anything again once it is uploaded. I will edit prior to that. So, in the unboxing, this is the Oku Botijo brush. It comes in a nice leather pouch. It comes kind of a bird nest uh, box. Comes with a certificate and serial number. This one is number 38 Botijo. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. They give you some nice instructions on how to use and clean a brush and they've got an embossed uh, logo on there. Just a little extra touch, I think. It kind of makes this brush kind of special. Inside the leather case, there we go. It's a 25 millimeter knot. Uh, all of the specs to this brush are actually in the description of this video. And I will be using this today. What I'm gonna do, since it's brand new, I'm gonna put it in the crystal skull. A little bit too much water in there. And I try to just keep it below the knot. Don't know if you can see that, just below the knot there. Uh, below the, it never affects the glue, but somebody said, hey, the water might affect the glue. I've never ever had any trouble with that, but doesn't mean I won't take your advice. All right. I had been some requests. People said, hey, you never use a Parker razor. Well, I use a Parker variant all the time. And they said, well, there's a bunch of Parker razors. But if you have an adjustable variant, really that adjusts and kind of does everything that I need to do. I have this setting on number two today. And I have from Brazil, the Gillette Super Thin Blade in it. Hard to get, hard to get. I have a couple of friends who travel to South America and they've been very cool. I've got my friend in Panama, very cool, been able to send me some of these. I still have a, quite a bit left, uh, but when I run out, I know who to contact. But if you're ever, if you have a chance, these are really, really nice blades. And we'll be trying it in the variant today. Global Shave Club had sent me a new, I, I didn't know they did soap. Here we go. Uh, luxury save, Shave Soap, Tobacco Road. And it's got a nice, it's a puck. Nice tobacco and vanilla scent. I'm gonna be putting it in the vintage original uh, Old Spice shave mic today. So we'll be, uh, we'll be trying that today. And to kind of go with the uh, Old Spice theme, I'm gonna, from Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements, I'm gonna be using cold spices today, aftershave. I'm going out tonight and I needed a shave. My face is almost healed up. Luckily, they kind of nailed me above the shave line. I don't think they got me anywhere else, but if I cut myself, we'll know that's what happened. All right, let us see. I'm gonna wet my face. While I'm getting that brush lathered up, I'm gonna press this puck nice and hard into this. I'm even putting dents into the soap to kind of hold it in place. I've got, I like this handle, this handle, looks almost identical to the Simpson Chubby. And that's one of my favorite brushes from the UK. All right. And of course the puck is rotating. It'll stick in there next time. Oh, I had too much water. Look, too much water in there. Yep, way too much. Oh, nice smell though, way too much water in there. It's 
a nice thick handle. It's easy to hold. All right, we're spilling out now. So we'll work on that a little bit. How is the weekend going? It is Sunday today, and it's Sunday on my vacation, so I have a lot of time. Three-week vacation. I have a lot of time to catch up and make some movies, make some videos, watch some movies. And now it's starting to spill out. See, I'm too impatient. Too impatient. Once. I'll keep it out of my ears. Just once. A lot of people are saying, hey, I've heard it too. If you rotate a badger brush like this, there's a chance it's going to shred. Shed. I usually paint the fence with it like this. But I don't want to tell you how to shave. If you're comfortable with the way, stick to it. All right. Setting number two might be too mild. No. Very good. I can hear that feedback. Hey. If you have to get one Parker, you might as well get one that you can adjust to your face. Now I did cut myself there, so I'm gonna go a little lower than that. Or, I mean, not cut myself, have some burn from the dermatologist. Wow. You guys have a variant. What settings do you use? What blade do you use? Never delete. <laughs> your videos from your phone, put them on your computer, save them. Ah, but I needed the space, man. That's how I lost that last video. All right. I went to the movies with my brother on Friday the 13th. I saw Black Christmas, kind of a sorority slasher movie. You always say, Ken, you always like everything. I didn't like that movie. Could have been better. I went and saw it. Me and my brother walked out and go, Ugh. you know, could have been better. Was okay, but not the greatest. Star Wars should be better. Of course. There was a movie in the uh, early 80s, House on Sorority Row. I thought it would be kind of similar to that. Uh, it was not. But a bad day at the movies is better than a good day at work, right? All right, Sheldon, your soap pulled it through. Very nice. I could stop now. But I'll do one more pass. And I did not cut myself yet, so is that tempting fate? Converted another wet shaver, one of the uh, friends at work. Steve, he watches the channel. He's fed up with the ridiculous prices of the uh, Gillette cartridges, and I hooked him up uh, with one of the Global Shave Club razors, some uh, Wilkinson sword blades, and we have a new convert to wet shaving. Welcome, Steve. Prices of those cartridges are just absolutely ridiculous, even at Costco, right? 20 bucks for, you know. But if you're in a hurry, if that's what you're into. Wow. And I do can smell the tobacco. Okay, I'm going to go low here. Can smell the tobacco scent very well. All right. No 
cuts. All right. Hear the feedback? Oh, wristwatch check. It's the Digi Tuna from Seiko. And I pulled the trigger. I ordered the remake of the uh, Seiko Arnold Schwarzenegger, the Arnie. Uh, I think it's, I forget the number, but I'm gonna be doing an unboxing of that. It's on the way, it arrives tomorrow. When they first came out about a month ago, they wanted $550 because uh, everybody was all, can't get them. Now they're available pretty much everywhere. So everything's on sale. I got it uh, a little more than half of that, but we'll talk about that in the next video. All right. Never mind soap on my uh, ear. I got soap on my shirt. I've been up on the roof adjusting Christmas lights. Never like, I used to jump off the roof when I was 16. I weighed half of what I weigh now, but uh, man, it is spooky up there. So if you guys are doing any of your holiday lights or holiday decorations out there on that roof, be careful, man. Be careful. Got it done though. Now I don't have to worry about it. Yeah, you can see where they burnt me. Okay. Cold spices. My face is tingling now, so I know this is going to be a good burn. Yeah, smells a lot like the original Old Spice, the Schulten. Oh, yes, I'm going to keep away from that blister. <laughs> Home Alone. Oh. Very good. Now the wife will be happy. I don't have a... What is it? The five o'clock shadow going out to dinner tonight with her. Okay. Hey guys, thank you very much for watching. If you get a chance, check out these guys' sites. Uh, they have their some pretty great products. And uh, if you're wondering where that video went, I goofed that previous unboxing. But nothing I can do about it except move forward. All right, everybody. Happy holidays. And we'll see you again very, very, very soon. All right. Bye for now.